Greetings. Thanks for tuning in and listening to Diva Speaks. I would like to do uh, my analysis on Neely Fuller Jr., a historian and teacher and lecturer on white supremacy and systemic racism. He's 93 years old. And I'm getting my information from a 2023 article. And it's the samepassage.org. Samepassage.org. Knowledge hidden is knowledge exposed. And a lot of knowledge has been hidden from us. But the covers are being snatched off. Is it not? Because I'm learning. I'm learning so much. Um, one of his quotes is, if you don't understand white supremacy and systemic racism, everything that you do understand will only confuse you. And that's true. Needy Fuller was born on, well, there's a, cons- a discrepancy on the birth date, but he was born in 1929. He's 93 years old in Galax, Virginia. This article said he was born June the 6th, but then another one said he was born October. October the 6th, 1929. He was born in Galax, Virginia. He grew up in a segregated society and experienced racial discrimination firsthand. After serving in the U.S. Army during the Korean War, he moved to Washington, D.C. and became involved in the Civil Rights Movement and social justice. In the 1960s, he became a member of the Nation of Islam, a Muslim, and later joined the Black Panther Party. He eventually left these organizations began to, and began to develop his own ideas about how to combat racism. He's a free thinker, can't be boxed in. In 1971, Fuller published his first book, The Word Guide which was a dictionary of colloquial terms used in African-American culture. We have our own vernacular. I call it Ebonics. You know, when we say y'all and Ghana and I don't even know and I be trying. That's our way. That's our colloquial verbiage. Our vernacular. It's Ebonics. And I don't apologize. I know on the job I had to make sure I had to speak proper. But what is proper when our language has been taken from us? In 1971, Fuller published his first book, The Word Guide, which was a dictionary of colloquial terms used in African American culture. He continued to write and publish works on race and racism, including the United Independent Compensatory Code slash System slash Concept and the Compensatory Concept, a code for victims of racism, which have been come which have become influential texts in the African-American community. I hear others say that we shouldn't call ourselves victims, but I'm a victim. I wear that badge proudly. I am a victim of systemic racism and white supremacy. I'm a victim psychologically in every other kind of way. I am a victim. My parents were, my siblings, my family, my friends and associates are all victims of systemic racism and white supremacy. 
Fuller's work is focused on understanding the dynamics of racism and developing strategies for countering it. He argues that racism is a system of power that is used to maintain dominance over people of color and that it can only be defeated through the development of a system of counter-racism. Let me know if you disagree with that or agree. He feels as, as if it can be defeated through the development of a system of counter-racism. Fuller has also been an outspoken critic of what he sees as the negative effects of integration and assimilation on African American culture. I agree with him with that. Integration was the worst thing that could have happened to us. Why couldn't we remain separate and equal? Because since we have integrated into the society of those who don't respect or like or love us. No other people, the Arabs, the Indians, with the dot or the feather, or the Asian have integrated with them. They remain separate and they are prospering. Look at us, how we have just merged into them. Look what it has done to us. We're not the same people. I could tell you that now. We're not. We are the most despised. So why did we have to merge? We sat at their counters while they pour milk on our people's head, water in the face, and then allow them to go behind a wall and fix something so personal as your food. The Muslims won't even allow their women to fix their food when she's on her men's. Or if she have an attitude, you cannot fix my food. That's the way they feel because your food is personal. So why would we demand those who despise you to fix you something to eat? Why? What is wrong with us? Um, Fuller, okay, yeah, I said that. He believes that these processes have led to the loss of a distinctly African-American identity and culture. Fact, we have lost our identity. We're, we're not the same people very badly damaged. Today, Neely Fuller continues to write and speak on issues related to race and racism. His work has been influential in the African-American community and has been studied and debated by scholars and activists alike. He stated, regardless of all that has been said or done, the quality of the relationship between white and black is it has been a total disaster. I agree. Total disaster. Another one of his um, quotes is He spoke of the Woman King movie. And he said, I told you all that he predicted rather years ago that there was a plot by the racists to get black women to fall in love with each other and become soldiers to fight for white men. Neely Fuller Jr. said that a, a time is going to come when it is when it will be a regular thing for preachers to have sex with members on the church 
live up front on stage. I'm a witness that a lot of, of that goes on. Maybe not to that degree. Okay. The only requirement is that we define a word clearly and accurately and stick with that definition. Neely Jr. said we have to wait, make up our own definitions to compensate for the deceptive and often lacking definitions given to words in the English language. The only requirement is that we define a word clearly and accurately and stick with that definition like bro, bra, woke, and racist. Black people, let it be understood that we cannot be a racist. That's a power dynamics that belongs to those who have the means to make your life a living hell. And we don't have that power. So we cannot be a racist. Prejudice we can be, but not a racist. That belongs only to those who can afflict depression, suppression, and oppression on a, a people, an entire people. So we can't be racist. I was called a black racist and I had to correct the person. No, I'm not a black racist. Prejudice I am, which means you prefer your own first. And who does not? Who does not? What's wrong with that? And to love your own people doesn't mean that you hate anyone. You just have a preference. Nita Jr. said, a lot of our people are good for doing what doesn't work. Find the very methods that do not work at all and double down on them. Sometimes I wonder if some of these niggard, there's a word, N-I-G-G-A-R-D, and it actually means a silly person. So, I don't know what the N-word is. I don't know what that is. He said, I wonder if some of these niggards were put on the planet simply to do the most ass backwards and in the ineffective things to demonstrate to the world what doesn't work. And that's protesting, marching in the street. That doesn't work. MLK told us what to do. He said, I'd have told you and I'd have showed you what to do. Even though he marched. But what did they do with the um, bus protest? They stopped riding the bus. And it took, how long did it take? It took almost a, a year, did it? But what if we just not shop in stores? and shop on the outskirts of that town versus marching and hollering and screaming in the street. That does nothing. That does absolutely nothing at all. So I agree with him that we are most ass backwards and ineffective demonstrating to the world what doesn't work. Neely Fuller Jr. There's a, a channel on um, YT and it's hip hop cartoons. And this young man is an artist from Canada. And his drawings are so effective to back up Neely Fuller Jr.'s lectures. I learned so much just from that channel. I'll leave that in the description below. Neely Fuller Jr. said that black folks constantly walking around in loud clothes and acting loud saying, look at me like children. Pay me some attention. So a lot of them just play right into the hands of social media giants like Instagram and Twitter.
Racism has, racism has done more to promote non-justice than any other social material system known to have been produced or supported by the people of the known universe. No major problem exists between the people of the known universe can be eliminated until racism is eliminated. The fear, frustration, malice, and confusion caused by racism retards or prevents all constructive activity between the people. It seems hopeless, don't it? The people who have the ability to eliminate racism do not have the will to do so. And the people who have the will to do so do not have the ability. That's catch 22. Regardless of all that has been said or done, the quality of the relationship between white people and black people is it has been a total disaster. Justice is better than racism. As long as racism exists, anything said or done by people that is not intended to help eliminate racism and to help produce justice is a waste of time and energy. He speaks of the nine activities that everyone is involved in and that is entertainment education economics labor law politics religion sex and war this is how racism and systemic racism catch african black people up in those nine activities that we all involved in we know how systemic racism affects us in entertainment, education, lack thereof, economics, we're at the bottom. The wealth between whites and blacks is so vast. We're at the bottom. Everyone seems to have surpassed us. We're getting reparations from when our children are gunned down. We're becoming millionaires because of lawsuits with the police department. Francis Cress Welsing speaks highly of him. Here she go with him. She like it. She likes it next to him. She cheesing. And he's a man that don't smile. I, 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 I haven't seen him smile. He don't like a lot of accolades. I'm going to end with that. But he's my idol. Um, peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Let me know what you think of Neely Fuller Jr. Mm -hmm. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Leave a comment below. Peace if you can find it. I appreciate you listening. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think.